everyone, Ray Gyarados here, and I've got a UU Oras battle today. Uh, I've been playing on the ladder for a bit, and, and by a bit, I mean not very much. I just started today, just throwing a couple of pokes into a team and then trying trying out the team. It definitely has some flaws. Uh, I've been swept by like a Swift Swim Mega uh, Swamper, but in any case, uh, I'll fix those flaws later. Uh, maybe when I have the time. But in any case, I got a good battle right here. So uh, let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna looking at this team. I'm thinking about leading off with just Don Fan because I kind of want to get the rocks up because he has a Noivern which doesn't appreciate it and um, like the Infernape which definitely needs some chip damage on it. He goes straight for the Energy Ball and but. Because he sent out his Alakazam, I decide right here that I'm just going to go for the knockoff because I thought mm, I can knock off its Focus Sash and hopefully that... I don't know how knockoff interacts with Focus Sash, but hopefully that KOs or something? It goes through? I don't know. But I never get to find out because it's actually a Mega Alakazam. It goes for Energy Ball, brings me down to Sturdy, and then Dazzling Gleams me in the next turn just in case I want to switch out into Gudra. And here I decide it's a perfect opportunity for me to go into Mega Beedrill and, Beedrill and make it evolve. So I do make it evolve, but the protect is gonna fail because, of course, my opponent switched out, so nothing's gonna happen. I decide here to go to forward to protect again, just to see what kind of set this Infernape is, and this Infernape turns out to be a Life Orb one, but I won't know that yet until later. But I definitely know it's not Focus Sash because it has Flare Blades, so I'm just gonna U-turn out uh, into my Kingdra to quad resist the. Flare Blitz, but even though I quad resist this Flare Blitz, he gets a crit, and that does around 23%, which will help him in the long run. And here I make a pretty big mistake. I probably should have just went for Waterfall instead of Focus Energy, but I, I decide, well, what's this Inferno going to do to me? Turns out my opponent has Dual Chop. Now, Dual Chop is... I had no idea Inferno even got Dual Chop. I know it's probably like a move tutor if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's not, maybe it's an Eggman or something. Whatever the case, Inferno don't usually run Dual Chop because it doesn't really add to their coverage. But uh, color me surprised, my opponent got me. And that's definitely good news for him because that just killed my Kingdra without it really doing anything. I probably should have went for Waterfall. That would have made uh, this battle a lot easier. But I go into Beedrill here thinking, at 90%, I could probably knock it out with Drill Run. Inferno doesn't have the best defenses, and I don't have a huge attack stat. I'm wrong. Uh, 89%. Uh, I only got it at 88.4, actually, according to the screen. But, nope. Yep. That's both down, actually. So, Inferno's down. Uh, my opponent sends out Alakazam. I'm just going to send in Gudra, because Gudra matches up pretty well against most of his other team anyway. His Alakazam can't really touch me. So even though it does have the dazzling gleam, but dazzling gleam is uh, dazzling gleam is fairly weak, and he doesn't want to lose his uh, Alakazam. So I guess since in Swampert, I just go for the Sludge Bomb because that hits pretty much everything neutrally except for Swampert. My opponent goes for Ice Punch, gets the freeze, but I luckily thaw out and Dragon Tail to phase the Swampert out of there, and I phase it into Noivern. Now this turns a bit weird because. Uh, Let's let's see let's see the damage. So this Dragon Pulse does 27% against me. Now I go for a Draco here. This Draco does 95%. This should o this Draco should Oko. I've count like I've used the Smogon calculator, and unless the Smogon calculator is wrong, then I don't know how this Noivern survived. And I've also calculated that without any special attack EVs, the minimum percent it does is at least 28%. So, I'm not sure what's up with this Noivern. This Noivern is, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the heck was up with that. If someone could, like, clarify me on, like, if it's a bug or something, or if I'm just, I've checked, I've checked the stats that, I've checked my stats, They're, they all check out. I have, like, 252 in special attack and then modest nature and everything. So, whatever the case, my Gudra gets knocked out, I bring in Infernape. And the Infernape does go for the Grass Knot, which my opponent, I guess, didn't expect. And that KOs the Swampert, don't need to see it again. So here I had to make a really obvious play by switching into Krukadal here. And then make, an, make a really risky play by doubling back into Infernape and to get like the Sceptile. To, to like, yeah, to actually get the Sceptile. He can't switch out because this is going to be a huge, massive hit of overheat. And even with a crit, this Aerial Ace doesn't really do anything. Well, it does a lot, but it doesn't do enough to KO me. And luckily, I hit the overheat so that the Sceptile is gone. 
Now all my opponent left has has left is the Mega Alakazam and the Raikou. So I don't really know how much speed my opponent's running in Mega Alakazam, and I don't know if Mega Alakazam at max speed can outspeed a Choice Scarf Crocodile. And luckily this time I do outspeed I do outspeed Alakazam. I'm not sure what Al Mega Alakazam runs anyway. Probably doesn't run max speed because it has a bunch of speed already, but thankfully because of the, I can knock it out with the Earthquake, I get my Moxie boost and a plus one Earthquake is definitely enough to knock out the Raikou. So yeah, that was a pretty fun battle. I didn't even think I would be winning it at this point. Like, I had to make that switch into Crocodile and then double back into Infernape. That was my only chance of winning and I guess, I guess it worked out pretty well. So yeah, that was a good game. And, um, hmm, I want to say I want to bring some more battles, but I don't even know if I'll, like, have the time to. Probably will, but it depends if I do get some good games. And hopefully I can bring some more, uh, Wi-Fi battles too, if possible. I, but I don't think that's very likely in the long run. Probably just, like, these quick battles. And in any case, uh, hope you guys have a good day and a happy new year. See ya.